Hello, hello! Happy Monday! We are in the craft room. I just felt like Oprah when I did that. Like, <laughs> do you guys follow Rachel and Dave Hollis? Dave Hollis was telling a story on Oprah's birthday about how he met her, was in a conference room with her uh, for a movie that she was working on. And he said in real life, she like sang everybody's names and it was just um, funny to him. But that was his little claim to fame with his brush with Oprah on her birthday. So that just made me think of Oprah, how she would like sing something. We went on a tangent. That's how my brain works. But welcome, welcome. If we have not met before, you have not watched one of our videos before, my name is Katie. Um, I love DIY. I'm a maker, um, a handmade business strategist. And every Monday I try to be in this place to create something cool, new, fresh with all of you. So say hello if you're here. Let me know where it is you're watching from. It is it's cool, it blows my mind every single week when we're here to see where everybody is watching from. And um, I'm in Northwest Arkansas, so if we haven't uh, you know, figured out geographically where I am, don't, you, you'll hear the, hear the y'alls uh, pop up from time to time uh, around here. But I'm gonna say hi, hi Carla. I know it's not her first time. Um, let me pull up the comments right here on my iPad. So, I can see who's watching. So we have some fun things to do tonight. Um, I see Kelly. Kelly's, Helen's, hi girl. You're one of our um, loyal fans around here. She's in Alabama. And Susie from Indiana is super talented. She actually did a similar project with wood that I'm doing tonight, Susie. Um, we do a thread every single Sunday or Saturday or Sunday, one day on the weekend, um, where y'all can post what you have made or created. And Susie did like a faux book stack that she made from wood. So we are gonna make some stacked books. If you've not seen them, they are really hot in home decor. And I have some tips and tricks and some different ways to style them and a supplies list for you. So let me see you put a thumbs up or a heart if you have seen the book stacks. Like, with the stamped either names or phrases and been like a little sticker shocked at the price. I'm just saying, I see some hearts going up, some thumbs up. Uh, I looked at Etsy on these and they were upwards of 20, 25, $30. And I thought, cause I'm a DIYer, uh, that I can do this for a few dollars. Uh, I used to be a scrapbooker back in the day. So I have a lot of stamping supplies. So I'm gonna kind of share that I had to refresh myself on stamping 101. Um, anybody else here used to be a scrapbooker? <laughs> Melissa hasn't seen them. That's okay, Melissa. You're going to be obsessed. Ashley already is. Look it. Um, hello, Melissa Mansfield from Kentucky. Hey, hey, girl. Janice is from Pennsylvania. We have Annette from Ohio. That is awesome. And you guys with me. Okay, cool. Cindy. Cindy. Sorry, Cindy with double E's on the end. So she has lots of books to use. Well, I am the same way. So I love to read. Um, I think you can also, like, we're, I don't want to defile any memorable books. I will say as I was digging through my stack, um, my father, my dad, um, passed away when I was about 12 years old, 11, 12 years old. And uh, one of the things that my grandparents gifted me of his is some of his old books. So I had to be like really careful because I had a book of like a tub of books I had saved and I was, Kara was helping me because it's all kind of in the garage or whatever. And I was like, okay, nothing of my dad's can go in here. So I have very like few things of his, but I have some childhood books of him, his that were like, I don't know, Black Stallion and um, what are some of those old books like in the 60s, 70s, right? Um, that are his that I have. Um, so I got some cool things from him. So I'm not, don't defile any of those books, okay? These are like thrifted books, Dollar General books, uh, Dollar Tree books, thrifted, you know, okay? So, um, see, Arya says she's gonna do it with her grandma's books. I was like, I'm not gonna test it out on anything that's memorable, but but you could. If you feel like that's the way you'll incorporate to your everyday decor. I do I don't judge around here. So <laughs> hi Bonnie. <laughs> and um anyway, okay, so you're gonna need some books. I picked out some hardback books. I got some hardback books, and I also uh picked out softback books. From what I could gather in my research of this project, it doesn't look like it needs to be one or the other. Um, but we're gonna do it two different ways so you guys can kind of see how that goes 
and decide what you like for your style. So you're gonna see me be, be the guinea pig. Guinea pig. P guinea pug? Uh, no, pig, right? <laughs> Do you say guinea pig in Canada? So <laughs> Lisa's here from Canada. Um, so I will show you how to do it, Lisa. Um, Wendy just bought some of the Dollar Tree today. Okay, cool. So I think the supplies for this uh, to make a stack of books could be under $15 if you don't have any of the stamps and stuff. So otherwise, it's just going to be the cost of your books. Um, here's the other supplies I would recommend. Okay, ink pad, just an acid-free pigment ink pad. Um, this one, I got a nice juicy one at Hobby Lobby. They're $4, I'm sure, every other week they're... 40% off or something, so that's relatively inexpensive. Um, this I had, and I want you to see, this is a stamping block with the grids. I totally recommend this, okay? So you could get wood stamps and then place every letter, do you know what I'm saying? But I feel like mine would have looked like this and it's hard to space. Do you know what, what I'm saying? Like how you can't see through a wood stamp and it would be really hard to line up. So you need the clear block and the clear alphabet. These are from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, you can order on Amazon or something like that, but you know, whatever craft store you got. So my, I picked out kind of like a, I mean, it's like Times New Roman. I saw some really cool, like more typewriter fonts, but I think this is gonna be super cute. So um, the see-through stamps, I'm gonna show you how easy this makes it and how perfect you can do your spacing. So it's not a project that you have to throw away your books because you can stamp it right the first time Hopefully, <laughs> right? Um, Julie said she did this product and project and used vinyl. So, Julie, did you create a stencil with your vinyl or did you actually apply like black lettering? Debbie, I am glad you're here live too. So I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. We have about 150, just hit 150 on my end, uh, creative ladies, men, women, um, watching tonight. I'm gonna give away one of the steps the sets that we stamp here tonight. I think we're gonna do like Happy Spring or something. Um, and I may even send it with like a cute little bunny or something because I have some inspiration for that. Um, so if you would share the video, let me know that you shared. And I'm gonna say, let me know that you shared and either what you would put on your stamped books or where you would display stamped books. Give us some ideas, okay? Julie said she applied vinyl. She said it still looks kind of messy. <laughs> oh no. Well, I do think that's part of the, like the cuteness of this project is that we embrace a little imperfection. That's okay. Hola, Sandy. And hey, Beth. Beth's a Sharon. Um, so somebody, if you want to win one of these uh, giveaways, um, and if you want to receive one of these stamp book sets that I do tonight, please share the video and I will choose a winner here. Um, I actually have like three lives planned for this week, so you may get sick of me. Uh, but during the week, I will announce the winner. Um, I like to give the video at least 24 hours so people have a chance to watch, because not everybody can watch live. I love the repo viewers, too. Um, so, anyway. Okay, so here we're going with our first stamping set. So, y'all gonna help me with the first set is going to go on my new entryway setup. It's not a new entryway, but I finally hung something in my house. Um, <laughs> we've lived here since November, like right before Thanksgiving. And um, I just have, it's hard for me to decide what to hang on the walls, y'all. But I committed to doing my entryway. So I'm like, people see that. Let's do the entryway. We're setting the vibe for spring. And um, so I did that area and I need a set of stamped books. So my theme kind of for spring is like plants, faux plants, because I have no green thumb. Okay, let's be honest here. Um, I don't know. I don't think I want like this for the beginning. I think I kind of want just words. So you can rip off as many pages as you like. So I like that page. We're going to start with a page that has some text on it. That's going to be the top of this one. So you can just like deface the books. I picked about three that are the same size for this project. So... My entryway, Rita said it looked amazing. I did show a sneak peek in my DIY home group, which is a, our free group for ladies who just love decorating and stuff. How cool is that? Like, I wish that was the page that was up. Um, I did share it last night because I was like, getting to just show somebody. I'm not very good at keeping secrets. Um, but uh, a sneak peek. I'm waiting for some hooks to go in the 
in the entryway and then the stack of books and then I'll be able to show you, okay? So I'll show you all, but the theme is kind of the greenery and cactus and like plants for spring. I have terracotta and like greenery. So I thought one word could be grow, but I need y'all's help with the other words. So we're gonna stamp along the spines where we just tore off those covers. Okay, um, they're not super pretty or uniform. If you can see that, sometimes my lights get tricky. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Waverly chalk paint and just like, it dries so quick. We're just gonna go down the spine and kind of cover that, okay? You can paint right over the words if you wanted, whatever you wanna do, but um, you could even like, I have little, like somebody wrote their name on there, Peggy Cook, this book once you belong to. I love the stories of books, don't you? Um, but I mean, you can paint the sides if you want, but really just brush over the spine. Maybe I'll do kind of around the edges. Totally optional with this. Most of the sets I saw didn't have any chalk painting or anything. Um, but we'll just kind of let those dry. So the paperback books were super easy. I just ripped off as many pages as you want. And then you've got three. These are all about width and height uh, similar. So you guys helping me? Okay, so they have to be single words. <laughs> Mary's suggesting grow your own joy. I could do that. I was thinking like grow, I don't know, flourish, sprout, words like that. <laughs> Julie's asking about my makeup. Um, I do on Julie. Are you on Instagram? I do have a makeup story highlighted. Uh, that's so sweet of you. She said that my makeup looks good. I actually have like um, I dry skin in the winter. It's not not great, but um, you can get some makeup tips from me over on Instagram if you would like. So Rita said bloom. See, I like that. Love grows here. So that could be love grows here. I maybe we'll just do that. Susie, that's a good one. Susie, that's a good one. Oh, Jamie says bloom where you're planted. So if you like Ray Dunn, you could even do a Ray Dunn font with vinyl. I don't know if you could find stamps that were like a similar font to Ray Dunn, but that would be cute. Okay, so I have one book. This is a hardbound book that I chalk painted right over. It had like, see, a, like a really animated cover, but like this is one coat of chalk paint of that Waverly chalk paint, and it just covered. So these felt a little sturdier. Um, I thought we could, see this one might be too thin to stamp on. You can even stand them up and do like a letter on each book. So let's chalk paint a couple more of these and we'll see how that looks. So we have a couple different ways. Kim Kaiser, it is snowing in Arizona. That's what she says. I can't say it's like too cold here, but um, we went outside. We started um, spring training for spring cornhole league tonight at the tennis house. <laughs> Kim, uh, so it wasn't too cold because we agreed to uh, go outside and play three rounds of cornhole. The Jung Kong beat me all three times, which is typical. I think the most points I got was like six. I'm not very good, I'm good company. <laughs> um, and I'm a very enthusiastic partner, which is probably why he keeps me around. I do good cheering. Um, <laughs> I'm fun to be around, you know, but I'm not really good at cornhole. I don't understand why either because I threw fast pitch softball in high school. I feel like I should be able to figure out a release point and just do the same throw over and over. Like I should develop muscle memory, but maybe that's why he has me training for the off season so I can improve those skills. <laughs> Debbie's asking where we get books at. Y'all Give Debbie some ideas for where to get books because I know we have like a Habitat Restore that may have books. Um, we have a place called Helping Hands that books maybe like 50 cents or a quarter. I know Dollar Tree. Um, so well, while we are out playing cornhole, y'all are having teachers, uh, are having snow days here. Diana, did you do any crafting? I know exactly where you are in Beaverton, Oregon as well. Yeah, Dollar Tree, we can get the books. So we're just, I did the book pages, the cover, front, back, all of it. Okay. Again, you can just rip the covers off these, but I'm doing, this is going to be a three different size set. We're okay with that, right? Let's see. Okay, we're going to do this 
one. This one's gray already. I don't, I don't mind it. But. You could even do. This could be reversible, y'all. Like, I was talking about how we'd put this together and we'd stamp on the actual book pages of this one. But you could have one set of words on one side and then, you know, different sets for later. Words for later. I don't know. Sally says garage sales. Yes, it's almost garage sale time around here, right? Libraries sometimes sell books. So this stage is optional, but this chalk paint dries really quickly and I just thought that would make them look just nice. Almost as soon as I get a coat on, I can go back and apply another chalk paint to some area. Sandy, I like that idea too. Okay, what are some herbs? Because I think that's a cute idea, Sandy. Does that go with cactus and plants? I don't really have herbs, but I think that's a good idea for a book set. or not if you like the yellowing you don't have to I probably like the collected look like y'all are saying thyme rosemary lavender good ones good ones all right if you're just joining you're late to the party uh please share the video not only is it a huge blessing to us I always think there is you know two things that you can do to a video during a video uh that could really help the person behind the videos, not just for me. Uh, if Facebook content and watching live videos is something that you like, it's definitely something I encourage my fellow makers to do, to let their face and voice and talents be seen. Um, but if you can hit the thumbs up and the heart button and share, those are two things that just, I mean, without even buying anything, um, without stressing yourself too hard, you can sit there during the video and hit hearts and, and thumbs and just agree with what they're saying, hit happy faces, whatever. That just tells Facebook that we're doing a good job, that you appreciate what they offer and you know they should show it to more people. So thank you, I see a lot of those, but you can do that for me, I love it. Um, but I know anyone whose video you watch and you enjoy their content and stuff, um, cause it's not easy to like put yourself out there in video. I'm a, I'm a hot mess now, it's kind of a, become second nature. I think I've been, doing videos probably close to two years um so i love it it's my one of my favorite ways to connect with y'all um but you know some people are getting on there the first time and they need a little encouragement and i definitely know that your feedback and shares um will encourage them and encourage facebook to give them a little love in the algorithms right dotty made some buffalo plaid coasters the other night. All right, you're painting some buffalo plaid. Were they wood coasters or did you do it on like tiles? <laughs> Here's are sweet. Okay, I'm trying to clean up a little bit of this. Make sure our first set is dry. Okay, so now here's what I told you about this stamp that is gonna be your friend because it has grid lines. What'd we say? We're gonna go love grows here. Okay, so we're gonna do Let's just do love first, all right? So you, you can see all your letters. And I'm gonna do all lowercase. So I'm gonna peel off an L. O, V, E. It's very clingy. The more you use, use these, the less they cling. G's, yeah, I got a G that's fallen off. G's, I got a G. <laughs> Um, and you do have to spell it backwards, which can get me, but once you flip over the block, you're going to be able to see that it's, um, like the right way. You'll be able to read it. Okay. So I'm going to, you can choose like the bottom of the block to line it up on. Maybe that's the easiest. Love spelled backwards. E-V-O-L, right? <laughs> So if I line them up all along this edge, I think this is gonna be hard to see. Okay. Okay, why don't you just, whoa! Oh goodness. I don't even know 
if you can see, maybe once I stamp it. So once you turn it over, I can read that it says love and it's all lined up on the bottom. Um, oh, there you go. So I can stamp it nice and straight. I can see my spacing before I actually press it down and then I'll be able to make sure my other words are the same, okay? So top book, I think I'm gonna do it all to the right hand side of where the book will be. Only tricky part is I'm gonna have to like hold it up to stamp on it, okay? Um, and I always store my ink pads face down so like they get juicy or like before you get ready to use them, if you flip them over so your juice in the pad goes to like the top. And always when you're stamping, press straight down and straight up, none of the rocking motion, okay? Try to prohibit that. I'm gonna do the first one standing up and we'll see how that works, okay? I do have extra books if we need to. Oh, that was pretty good, pretty good. So can you see it says love? Love! And that like seemed very absorbent to the ink. So I got the first one. So I just baby wipe off my stamps and then you can put them, once they dry, they'll stick back to the sheet over here. And I'm just putting them in the lid to the, to the stamp right now so I don't lose them. Okay, so we need to do grows next. Grows. Goodness. Michelle, the stamps are from Hobby Lobby. All the, I went and got a new stamp set. I didn't need it, but I did have the block. But this is stampability, so I know it's this, the uh, Hobby Lobby brand. Um, yeah, so stamp abilities is what I did on everything. Okay, so I gotta spell it backwards. S W O R G. Okay, so this one I can't do right on the bottom because the G would go like below the line. Does that make sense? But there's grid lines on here, which I think is gonna be a game changer for y'all. Like eliminate a lot of the frustration. Okay, my fingers are very dirty. And I don't think they're helping these like stamps here. Okay, hang on, let me really wipe off my fingers because my painted fingers are not helping. Uh, Jules, I think that Home Sweet Home would be super cute on a set. sure the block is clean and dry my fingers are clean and dry not doing a very good job of that okay let me try a double another w and an s sorry much time fussing with the letters being straight. I know some of y'all are perfectionists around here. I don't fall in that category, so I'm like, eh, that's pretty good. <laughs> as long as it's spelled right when I flip it over. That G don't want to stick for nothing. <laughs> I really think it's my dirty hands, girls, because they should cling to this pretty darn well. Okay, now we got the word grows. You can flip over, read it, double check that it actually spells the word that you're trying to spell. And again, I'm gonna do love. And then this one's gonna say grows. And then we're gonna do best, okay? Oh no, we're gonna say love grows here, sorry. And I like that this block is really long, like you could maybe do like the whole spine of a book if you want. I'm just tapping it in the ink a few times. Kind of, I kind of pushed hard. It's not my best stamp. <laughs> it kind of double stamped because the book folded, but I don't mind it. <laughs> I could do another row of chalk paint over it. Let's do that. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna wipe it. <laughs> wipe it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I have to chalk paint. Look, just disappeared. I get a chance number two. 
Okay, that's a trick too. Like, if you guys are stamping, like I said, it's been a while since I stamped. If you feel like the ink is dried out or whatever, if you like huff on your stamp block, it'll kind of moisten up your ink again for you. Okay. Apparently, like my G didn't stamp that good. There we go. That's a nice crisp one. So now we got love grows. And now we're gonna do here. Yay. Okay. Okay, you guys need to help me. Well, we were gonna do Happy Easter that we're gonna give away to somebody who shares the video. So I can do those or we can do, I need like, let me see what the other book stack is. Let's, let's do here first. Sorry, I was trying to do both or two things at once. Dry off my stamp block this time. Okay. This stamp set is nice from Hobby Lobby because it does have all the uppers and all the lowers uh, cases of each letter. I know some stamp sets that I looked at like on um, Amazon and stuff just had like uppers or just had lowers. So I feel like this is a versatile one that is going to have most of the letters you would need for whatever stamping project you want to do. I even think we're going to do some trims on some of these. I even think stamping on like fabric strips or something would be really a cute way to personalize some stuff too. Another way to use your stamps. But I really do think like if you're going to do it, it's um, the supplies should be less than the cost it is to buy some done for you. So if you're crafty at all and you think you might make more than one set, I think it's a win win situation. Thank you for sharing Lynn and Keila and Penny. Awesome. Pamela for sharing. Okay. Tap, tap. And then I'm going to do here and I'm going to make it my perfect stamp. And it'll do it. Oh gosh. I get you tough, but it, it worked good. Worked good. Okay. Love grows here. Got that right. Let's see. There is one set of stampies. Let's wipe these off. I think I might have lost an R. There it is. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So you guys ready to talk about some styling of these? Because I was thinking, I have a few things over here. Um, <clears throat> suggestions for you as far as wrapping them so you can stay really neutral and use like some muslin or burlap I have or twine um that would go with my area just fine I have some accents of black um so we could do the buffalo plaid or kind of this tan stripe I've been loving fabric lately did y'all see the bunny I should show you the ribbon I put on the bunny hi Jody. hey John He's watching a show. Usually he's out in the shop. But. So let's do, I was thinking, what if we did one fabric this way across the top? Doesn't even have to cover the whole thing. And then we'll do like twine this way or maybe we could wrap it both ways like a present. Let me ask him to bring the bunny because I want to show you what I've been doing with the fabric. Hey John. Hey, John, yeah. will you bring that bunny with the bow, that rag bow? So this is why I have all the fabric, because I've been playing with these bunnies. I think we, did we make it last week on Make It Monday? Week before? I don't know. Whenever it wasn't a holiday. So I'm flipping these over. In this. Okay. You want to model the bunny? Or you know? Look it. He's just going to bring in the bunny for an appearance. So we made the, this bunny out of embroidery hoops. Oh, Don't it. break it. Um, oh, I got it. Last week, but I've been making these rag bows. That's my Easter rag bow. But that's why the fabric is like everywhere. <laughs> Are you loving the fabric? Oh yeah, it's cute. And the bunny's your favorite thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you know. I don't, okay, there we go. Look it, it's got a shrine. Okay, so now we've got this and I thought, 
that would be cute, kind of like a present. Oh goodness, yeah, I like that. Georgiana loves the rag bows too, yay, okay. I do, I love the rag bows. I had uh, several people asking me on Instagram, I posted a picture over there. I try to be equal and show the pictures everywhere, but uh, sometimes I don't get to one or the other first. And several people were like, is there a tutorial? Did I miss how to make the rag bows? And I haven't done it yet, so I probably will. Okay, so I think that is cute. Let's see how easily those could be done with wood. Um, Susie did hers with wood, so I'll have to link up to yours, Susie, or you guys can check out the Sunday string of people sharing their finished items. Um, so you could totally do, like, I'm thinking, I didn't, like, bring anything in here for this, but a little piece of greenery, hmm, or, hang on, <laughs> I'm, like, looking for, let me, I'm just going to step right out here, get some greenery. it on here. I know that will be cute on my piece or my entryway because I have lots of greenery on there. So I'm thinking maybe I'll tie it from the underside of this one and just attach just kind of setting on there. Maybe you can make a cute bow of the twine. Hang on. Give myself a little room to work. Oh yeah. Some, even, yeah, some lavender, if that, you did the thyme and um, did the herb sayings, that would be really cute. And then, like, put a co coordinating herb on there. But that is just so cute. I add some softness and texture to, I don't know, you know, an end table, a coffee table uh, space, or any space that you need a little bit of height on something. I know sometimes when I'm decorating, everything seems like the same height, or you need to lift something up. And these books add a really cute way to do that. So there is that one. Cute, cute. Okay, so let's make one that says Happy Easter. And I'll give that one away. Okay? So we're going to do these hard back books. And we're going to stamp on the spines. Okay? Let me look at this one. has shown through a little. I've got a little sloppy here because I'm talking and crafting. Let me make sure. So this will be a two stack one with happy spring that's what I want to do so you can use it for more than just Easter so happy spring is gonna go on this one Charlene are you helping everybody out thank you <laughs> love it okay we have such an awesome community here of everyone who will help you out Okay, I'm digging out my stamps for happy. H-A-P-P-Y, okay, now I'm gonna spell it backwards. <laughs> Y-P-P, okay. Sorry, this takes some concentration, y'all. I'm going to be, this is my quietest video. <laughs> Usually I'm jibber-jabbering at you all the time. Uh, I'll take a little effort. Oops. My P's are Q's. Hang on. I'm glad I flipped it over and looked at it because we almost 
spelled a word that's not a word. <laughs> I need my P's to be P's, not Q's. <laughs> Sally can't wait to see the rag bow. Jody, it's okay. I know you kind of joined late, but that is just fine. We, I got all the spies for this one. Uh, exclusive of the books. The stamp, the ink, and the little grid stamp block, which is going to be your BFF. Uh, all came from Hobby Lobby, so not sponsored, just <laughs> where I got it all, and you can get it for $15-ish. Um, I don't even know if that's, like, on sale. I mean, the stamp pad was, like, three bucks. Okay, so much easier to stamp on the rigid spine of the hardback books than it was to, to stamp on the ones where I removed the covers, I will say. So we got happy on there. And imagine like, you could do colors. I'm doing all neutral, um, but you guys could totally do colors. Like, would you do colors or would you keep yours neutral? What do you think, girls? Okay, we're doing happy spring. Spring. Okay, I think I've used most of these letters, so hang on. S, P, So who wants to win the Happy Spring one? It's going to help me decide. Do you want me to do it with the Buffalo plaid again? Or we can do one of the other fabrics. Like we can do the browns. I think the browns would be really pretty with like a, a peachy. Hang on. I put this cute little blossom on here. But what is the... Uh, I just love these taupey stripes with like the romantic flower bed. We can do that on top of Happy Spring. I thought about doing happy spring in my house and then I have like little, I don't know if you guys remember last year for spring, I took some ceramic bunnies from like Dollar Tree and made them look like cement with flower, flower. And so those looked kind of like pottery varnish. They looked very fancy then. Um, and those would be really cute just like sitting next to the stack of books. What the heck? Okay. R. Not sure if my P, I think, is a P. We'll flip it over and we'll see. Annette wants to win. Well, I'm glad somebody is excited about winning Annette. I will try to choose from y'all to share. Um, do make sure that you comment that you shared because necessarily I can't see that. Um, so. Oh, geez. Girls. I think I lost the S. Hang on. It's giving me fits. It's my combination of dirty fingers and like these not being totally dry. Sorry. Jody remembers the cement bunnies. You've been my friend online for that long, Jody. We go back to cement bunnies. <laughs> okay, I've got spring on here finally. And it says spring. <laughs> so we're just gonna give it a tap tap on. They do not like my painty fingers. At this point, my impatient crafter self is just going to be like, it may say ping instead of spring. Hang on. Please 
Alyssa. Thank you for inviting your friends. <laughs> We're having a, a Junk to Jewels craft party tonight for Make It Monday. So we try to make Mondays awesome because uh, they aren't typically the funnest day of the week. I know, y'all. Probably aren't fans of Monday. Uh, but when we can hang out here together, it's a little more better. <laughs> better work. Now the pee fell off. Oh, my goodness. Okay, have really clean hands when you do this because I do not love my not clean hands. What if I do this? I'm going to stamp to this way. Now stay on there. How long is that one? Okay. Oh, finally. Praise God, we got a spring on there. <laughs> spot that's showing and I want it to be good for whoever wins this one right did y'all decide we wanted a flower and tan or what did we decide buffalo check flowers tan we've got happy spring here I hate that my lights make it hard to see isn't that darling it's darling just like that and then we added the stuff to the book stack and it is just Awesome. Okay. Uh, flower and tan. I saw two people say flower and tan. Is that what we're going with? Okay. Tan and the flower. This stripe, I think somebody asked about this fabric. I think it's from Joanne's. So if somebody was looking for the fabric source. I have my really sharp scissors not in this room. So we'll see how I do with these little, these little, I don't know what these are. Kid scissors, basically. Okay, I'm just gonna rip it. Um, it's about two inches wide, so we'll just go around this way. I'm gonna give myself enough to make a little bow with the fabric on this one. Maybe we'll do a little twine too. Let's, maybe I can do it in layers. Let's see. I thought having a bow next to the flower will give it a little more volume. Let's see. Might have to hot glue the, the bow. Okay, hang on. A little challenge tonight. Little challenge, girls. Okay, bow. A simple loop bow is hard for me, but I can make a bow with six different colors. And <laughs> Joanne's um, selection of fabric is really good as far as I like about it. Like if you find this fabric in the tan color, it's also available typically in black and white. And I think I bought this one in green and white. That's cute already. Um, I just thought we could do a little twine too, but maybe it doesn't even need it. I'm going to put a little glue under the bow just to make sure we're all secure. And then definitely um, this stem is snipped off to like an inch or two. So I'm going to put some glue on there and kind of nestle it inside that bow. So I kind of want it all facing the words. Does that look cute? Maybe the green should be more towards the bottom. Hang on. Twist it around there. Manipulate it whatever way we want it to go. Add a little more glue. <laughs> when in doubt, add a little more hot glue, right? <laughs> Very cool. I love this. And I do like the like the gathering of fabric behind the bow. For sure too. Okay, so happy spring. I love that. Girls, it is super cute. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so I think that's a, a winner.
container for sure and I'm thinking of like every season to display them and um, I'm super happy to get to send this to somebody we just made that lickety split I'm sure you get better at the stamping too <laughs> like I said I'm a little rusty on my stamping it's been a long time since I did uh, some scrapbooking so <laughs> Angela is betting that she's gonna win it's gonna look perfect in her house yep <laughs> all spring long right Angela well at least you know how to make it if, if you don't win so Debbie's going to get books tomorrow yay so I still got a stack here so I may play around I like I said I wanted to do one where it's like they sit up like this and I think like this set I saw said pray and then they tied like this way so just depending on your shelf you know how you need it to be so uh if you guys make these make sure you post it and and let me see because i think we'll inspire each other on this one okay so y'all have a rest of your monday hope it's a good one i will see you later this week